This is a Hot Pie Original. You know, the headline, the headlines are about Tom Brady playing until he's 50. And I, I, mean, I want you not to think I'm about to nerd out in football. I'm going to partially nerd out in football. But I, there's a big, you know, it's an interesting and I think fascinating takeaway for all of us about Tom Brady. That even myself, who runs probably far too much, um, there is a takeaway to the lifestyle of Tom Brady. So cue the theme. Where this is, you know how it works, where when I mention football, you know what happens. All right, look, can Tom Brady play until he's 50? Probably. I don't see it. Not at the level that he's at now. Certainly not at 50 or anywhere close, to be honest. But there, there are three parts to Tom Brady, the legend, that, that I think everybody can take away that whether you're a football nerd or not, and that I don't care if you, whatever fan of whatever team, uh, Cowboys get ready. <laughs> He's going to carve you up. Uh, but there, there's three takeaways that I think everybody should have. One, in full appreciation, he's on a short list of two or three in our lifetime as the most competitive freak in our lifetime. And I'm not saying that lightly. Okay, uh, the story, just so you know why this is even coming up again, is the general manager of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And honestly, who would question this? Who would question this? I mean, there's, there is no question at all from anybody anywhere about what the guy brings to the table. I think we can pretty much put that one to rest, correct? Yeah, he kind of took over a franchise. Next thing you know, they're winning other Super Bowls. So it's not by accident. So we can now accept the greatness. We can accept the impact. We can accept all these things that come with him. But the general manager, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, said in an interview that when he negotiated a contract extension with Tom Brady this offseason, Brady didn't tell the team whether he thinks it will be the last contract he ever signs. But the general manager said he could play at least seven more seasons. I know it sounds absurd. And I think the most amazing thing about Brady is who in their right mind would want to keep doing that. And that's why I tell you he belongs on that list with Michael Jordan, where it is in his DNA to be a competitive freak. He probably can't live without it. So the GM is the one who opened the door to this conversation. The general manager of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers um, says that, quote, I want to keep all those conversations, most of them private, but no, think, no inkling at all. I told Tom if he wants to play until he's 50 and he feels like he can play, he can still play at 50. That's why this is in the news. And everybody wants to laugh about it. Everybody wants to talk about it. But I, I want to point out a few things that I think um, maybe we don't fully appreciate. And there's a lesson learned for everybody about Tom Brady. One, uh, George Blanda played until he was 48. He played his last game in 1975 at 48. And he was kicking field goals and with a square toe, which makes me laugh. Okay, so Brady is a competitive freak. And there's only one or two others in my lifetime that have the same DNA. Michael Jordan, and I guess you could say probably Tiger Woods. And they are insanely driven. That's all they know is winning. Not all they know is they want to beat you. All they know is winning. And it, Brady is driven by winning at a level nobody else can maintain. Okay, And that is for all the money, all the trophies, it doesn't matter. All that's in his DNA is just to keep winning. I mean, if Jordan could, could, could keep it up and Jordan didn't take care of himself like Tom Brady, he would still keep playing because he just wants to win. So Father's Day is coming up. You're doing the gift yeah. boxes. Yep. So here's something that's certainly not 
a tie or a sweater or a pair of socks. Not a bad idea. Well, I think it's great if you if you don't know what to get your dad. I mean, get him some hot sauce. That way he can prove how much of a man he is. Right. Uh, and well, and this hot sauce will go great and your dad will love it. So I think it makes a great gift box. You can go to our website and find those there. Um, it come in packs of four. It, it's a great box. You just give to your dad and say, listen, your dad, thanks for, you know, for being my dad. And uh, it's not that sock that's just going to go in a drawer. It's not that gift card that's going to go in a wallet, never be, never be used again. It's actually something he can share with his friends. And so I think it's a great idea. All right. Order a box now. It's atxhotsauce.com, atxhotsauce.com. The other part is, and this is the nerdy football part, I will tell you this, and this is a, a weird way to look at Brady, but I think this is accurate. People could say, wow, they're great quarterbacks. And when you do this whole thing over a couple of beers, you argue about the greatest of all time. Tom Brady plays quarterback better than anyone ever. I didn't necessarily say he's whatever the best quarterback is. He plays quarterback better than ever. The position, I've often said, the position is you, when you hire a quarterback, you want a surgeon. You're hiring a surgeon. I'm not hiring somebody who screams and tries hard. I'm hiring a surgeon. I need them to be calculated and carve up the opponent. And Brady plays the position in the most surgical way of anyone. He's the best surgeon at the position. He handles the nuance. It's not to nerd out because we're getting to the yoga part. He handles the nuance of the position better than anyone to ever play the game. Stuff like this ball fakes, his internal clock. It's an old school thing that's used and you can't train it into someone. He's, he knows how long he has. A game of football at the NFL level, at, at field level, is 22 car wrecks. The sound of it, the speed of it will blow your mind. To slow the game down and have that internal clock is what sets him apart. That's the surgeon part. He knows when to sit down. Everyone talks these days about, oh, what a great athlete. He can run this fast. It doesn't matter. I don't need my quarterback to outrun you. I need him to live for the next play. I don't need him to run by you. I need him to be there for the next down. So this internal clock that Brady has is just, it's better than anyone has ever, has ever had. He knows how all this stuff about looking people off with his eyes. He knows down. I think most importantly, this is the surgical part. He knows when to just sit down. I'm just going to sit down. The play is over and I'm not going to get hurt. I'll live for the next down. He knows it better than anyone. He keeps his feet and he looks downfield. His footwork is perfect. So all those things that come with the position, the nuance of the position in this day and age when everyone talks about great athletes, a quarterback, the question is, can they play quarterback great? And he's the best at all the nuance. Okay, so then here's the part for the rest of us. Everyone who is sore, everyone who is beaten down, everyone like me who pounds away at too many miles on the trail and you hurt like heck, this is what the rest of us can take from Tom Brady. He doesn't concern himself with getting faster or bigger or train harder. He trains to stay healthy, right? That's what the rest of us should be doing. We shouldn't be worried about what our max is in the bench press. We should be worrying about how much healthier we are. We don't train like that at all. And so when pictures surface, remember not long ago, and you can go back and look at it yourself, people freaked out about this and started making fun of him. When pictures surface to Brady strolling down the beach, okay, granted, a beautiful, rich wife, but he's strolling down the beach and people freaked out that he's not ripped. He doesn't look athletic. He looks like somebody's dad who just finished a 10K. And people laughed about it and made fun of it. But he, he's not a very good athlete. He can't run at all. Most of you listening right now could outrun Tom Brady, but that's not what he's about. He knows he plays quarterback great and he needs to stay healthy. He doesn't need to outlift you. He doesn't need to outrun you. He needs to not be full of inflammation and hurt. So he trains only to be a quarterback. And as long as his arm is still good, his feet work, his footwork is still great. His mind is sharp. He just needs to be flexible and healthy. Right? The yoga instructor who is 60 and looks 35. This is what she preaches to us. What are you trying to do? I mean, what's the point of you improving your 10K time when tomorrow you can't get out of bed? 
Brady is, if you read about his training and you take a look at him, he's not worried about how he looks. He's not worried about the size of his neck, you losers. He's worried about, am I flexible? <laughs> and, and am I healthy? He doesn't want to have tendonitis. He doesn't want to hurt all the time. He's not about my half marathon time where I run myself into the ground and feel like garbage the next day and then drink far too much red wine and get dehydrated. He's about every day being as healthy as he can be so he can last. That's the thing where I think he, you know, people talk, oh, his diet, his training regime, his diet and training regime is not about him being a greater athlete. His diet and training regime is I'm going to be healthier than everyone that plays this game and I'm going to last longer. Because at my position, I don't have to do a heck of a lot else. I don't have to pound the pavement. I don't have to outrun you. I don't have to outlive you or out, out, outrun you. I just need to keep playing and stay healthy. So, I mean, I, that's the takeaway. Like, look at what, how Brady lives. And if we could do a fifth of how he lives, we'd all be healthier. There'd be less inflammation. That sounds kind of preachy, but I think it's one of the takeaways to Tom Brady that I don't think people fully appreciate. We're focused on... Who's going to be a great athlete and who's going to turn out these great results? Brady is about, I'll get the results. I have the competitive drive. I've mastered the position. I'm a master surgeon. I just want to be healthy enough to keep coming to work.